Good morning, Jose Sinai. Good morning. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Indeed, it is a blessing to see you on this day. Amen. 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 God has truly been good to us, and so we are excited about it. Matter of fact, he's so good that the Bible said he renew our mercies every each and every morning. Amen. And so we thank God for his renewed mercies. We thank God for his renewed grace. And so today as we come to worship, we come to worship because he has given us a day that was certainly not promised to us. Amen. But he has allowed us to experience this day, this time. And so for that, we are grateful. At this time, we ask that you would please stand with us as the mail course come this morning to give us our opening selection. Heart, the herald angels sing. Won't you stand and sing with us at this time? Heart the hero angel singing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy my God the sinners a reconciled joy for all ye nation ride join the trumpet of the sky with the angel lips proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the arrow angels sing. Glory to the newborn born King. Christ by highest heaven said good word. Hark the arrow angels sing. Glory to the newborn Born King, come desire let us come, fix in us the humble home, rise the woman, conquering seed, bruising of the serpent's head. Adam, like a now in flames, stamp thy image in his place. Second Adam from above, reinstated in his love. Heart the elder angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Amen, 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 amen. While you are standing, we ask now that you would join us as we recite the Apostle Creed. And as people of God, what do you believe? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of the heaven and the earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, God, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the punishment of power, was crucified, dead and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended to heaven and sit at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From this come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Oh, gracious God, we come again, Lord, simply saying thank you. Lord, thank you for so many things, Lord, that you have just blessed us with, Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you for protecting us on last night. Thank you for providing food for us this morning. And Lord, we certainly thank you for the provision, the clothes, the shoes, the, the item that we have, Lord, we, we couldn't do it without you. 
So this morning, Heavenly Father, not only are we thankful, but we are grateful. Lord, we're so grateful, Lord. We, we, we come to worship you today, Heavenly Father. There's nothing else on our agenda right now, Lord, but you. So, Heavenly Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit would just run wild in this place. Touch somebody right now, Heavenly Father. Touch their heart, their mind right now. Lord, matter of fact, while you're touching them, Lord, create a clean heart, a new heart. Renew a right spirit in us right now, Heavenly Father. Lord, we need you now. And amen. Come on, me, of course. Amen. Wonderful Jesus. Put y'all hands together better than that. Amen. 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 I, he's wonderful. Amen. He's awesome. Amen. Good God Almighty. You know, you have to take it in. Amen. And and I observe people. I, I know Miss Creamer had knee surgery. Amen. But Miss Creamer had to stand up on that. Amen. Now, if Miss Creamer with knee surgery, good God Almighty can stand up and say how wonderful he is. Amen. I, I don't know about y'all. I ain't had no knee surgery this year. Amen. Good God Almighty. That's how good he is. Amen. He'll make you stand up. Amen. He'll make you praise his name. Good God Almighty. He'll make you, good God Almighty, wave your hand. 
Yeah, he's wonderful. Good God Almighty. I, I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Mm. He's blessing us in spite of the situation. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew, scripture reading, Matthew chapter 11. Morning scripture reading in Matthew chapter 11, verses 2 through 11. I'll be reading the King James Version. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitude concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind. But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet. Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy faith, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verse 11 said, Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there has not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The word of God for the people of God. Oh, thanks be unto God. Amen. amen. You may let the worshiper in at this moment. Amen. As we get prepared, amen, to give and tithes and offering, we ask that you would give and that you would be a cheerful giver. So as the usher prepare, we ask that you prepare as they make their way through the aisle. We ask that you would give at this time. As the male court continue to sing.
Silver and gold, silver and gold, I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold, no fame or fortune, no riches untold, I'd rather have Jesus Of course, they doing their thing this morning, amen. Uh, they, 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 them boys bad, amen. They, I, I don't know if it's because of Brother Ellis back there, amen. Or Courtney, or TJ, or David, or, or Johnny. I don't know, them boys bad back there, amen. Y'all might well give them a hand clap what God is doing through them. Good God Almighty. Yo, yo, y'all can bring it back if you want to. Come on. I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. Amen, amen. I'd rather have Jesus, amen. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all sending us a message today, amen. Everything together, amen. It makes my job real easy, amen. Because you already. got the message through the song, amen, but I, I do have a sermon for you today, and it's Psalm 122 and 1, very, very familiar text in the church, Psalm 122 and 1, and it states, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. That's simple. I was glad. When they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. For a title I just want to use, I'm glad to be in church. I'm glad.
church. And I said, well, I guess I'm saying I'm glad to be in church. And she said, well, Daddy, you know there's a difference. I said, yeah. She said, there's a difference between being at church and being in church. And I don't know about y'all, but there, there are some folk that come to church, they're just at church. They just dare to scratch that off their to-do list for the week. But I'm glad to be in church. Amen. I, I'm glad to be in his service. Amen. And in his presence. I'm glad to be in church. Mm. There's a difference. When you read this, sermon, this, this, this Psalms 122, you have to understand that the people of God have been contemplating of returning to Jerusalem to revisit what they have missed while they were in exile. Trip that they ever would make. See, the city is in the south of the country. And And these, those that travel were coming from the north. And when you read the Bible extra, it said that they were traveling more than 100 miles to get there. Now, while distance doesn't really seem to bother us now because we have to the house of the Lord. That's, that's a good day. Uh, I would like I'd like to pose a question. H have you ever experienced a desire to arrive at your destination? You have saved all year for that trip. You, you have perused through the pictures and you talked it up for months with your spouse and your children and, and you got great anticipation to get to this destination. There's an abundance of excitement about this anticipated trip. And when you finally get there, oh my God, it's disappointing. You spend all your time wishing you were somewhere else. The accommodation are offered. They got bed bugs and <laughs> it, it's just bad. The, the attraction is not what's on the picture and, and the weather is raining. Your trip that you anticipated for months has now turned to a disappointment and a regret. Well, I, I have to tell you that in the text, those old believers, they were not remorseful about entering Jerusalem. No, no, because they said, I was glad. In other words, they didn't have no regret. They, 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 everything that they anticipated was there. It is the what is the true meaning of the church? The church can be both universal and local. Universal is that it includes all Christians in all places at all time, past, present, and future. When we are saying our Apostle Creed, there's a part in there that we say that the Catholic church and and I have to tell people, it's not that we are members of the Catholic Church, but that word Catholic in the Apostle Creed really means universal church. It means that we are all Christian in all places at all time. And then you have something called a local church. And the local church is where Christians come together in a local assembly to carry out his work. Our church is, is just one local expression of God, universal church. And it's best to think of the church as a living organism than just some cold, lifeless situation. The church is not building or even great program, but the church is you. It's the people. And when we gather, we ourselves become a building dedicated to the worship of God. This is the place where his word will be read and we will rejoice in his presence. 
he would be made much more about the preaching and the teaching and the singing. This church is the place where your kid can sit beside you and learn of God's grace and learn how you profess God to be the savior of your life. But in spite of the danger of our journey we face in life, in spite of the trouble, in spite of the difficult, we all come together one day out of the week, good God Almighty, corporately as a body of believers. And, and, and we come together because we're so excited about Jesus and what he's doing for us in our local church. That's why they said, that's why they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. Because each time we gather, good God Almighty, every time I see your face, that tell me that God has blessed you with one more day. Oh, my brother and sister, every time I see your faces, every time I see you walk in the church, that tells me that God has been good to you. Every time I see you, good God Almighty, every time I see that smile on your face, that tells me that God has made a way for you just to make it through the day's journey. Oh, you ought to get excited because when I come in the house, it ain't about the building, but when I see you, good God Almighty, and I see what God is doing through you, and I see how God is blessing you, then I get excited. Oh, oh man, that's the objective of the church. Y'all missed it. That's the objective of the church is to see you oh, and see what God is doing through you. And how he blessing you. That's, uh, that's why during the pandemic it was so hard. It was so hard to preach. Because I couldn't see you. It was hard. One was in unity, and they was in sync to worshiping God in spirit and in truth. But I want you to know that there is some instruction to the church. There's a, there, there, there's, there's a force called the devil, and the devil is very busy. And believe me, the devil will attend worship too. Good God Almighty. And what's amazing to me is that he can't come in by himself. Somebody got to bring that rascal in with them. And there are some people, good God Almighty, not in this church, but they will bring the devil in with them, not to participate in worship, but they want to mess up your worshiping experience. And, 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 and the Bible has a name for those, those individuals. Watch this. If you get home, read 1 Peter 5 and 13. It says, and with all they learn to be idle. Wandering from house to house. This is what the Bible said. And not only idle, but tellers and also busybodies. Speaking things with they. They ought not to do. In other words, the, 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 the weapon, the sign busybody, because I didn't really know what a busybody was. It's a person who meddles in affairs of Hmm. Yeah, they in the life of the tongue. And when people who are not in church, watch this, y'all, I got to preach this. See us proclaiming Jesus 
as our personal Lord and Savior, and then at the same time they see us tearing each other down, they're going to stay far away from the church as possible because they don't want to be a part of that junk. But we ain't like that. We ain't like that. I ain't talking to you. Because we were made out of what God created to be something special. Not to be no busy body. We were made to devote ourselves to. Worship. And we worship God because he deserves our praise. And I tell you that when God deserves your praise. that loved him. The church and the congregation ought to be the objective of your prayers. We should make it a priority to pray every day. You are to pray that God would continue to not only hold you up, but protect you with his hand. That, that he will that, that he will continue to pray and protect your welfare of your family. That, that, that we are to meet in the optimism of the church to pray that God will continue to bless the preaching of his word in his building. That, that when we hear that word, we ought to be strengthened by God's word. And we pray, good God Almighty, that the Lord will give us enough strength and the ability to make it one more day. Oh, you ought to pray for those that are sick. Sick and bereaved. You ought to pray for those that need peace in their life. You ought to pray for the harmony between members and pastors. You ought to pray, Lord, please, with your unselfish prayer. Getting me something to eat. And he came up to me, he said, I said, how are you doing? He said, well, I wasn't doing too well before I got. <laughs> and I said, oh, man. Now, this, I'm talking about he's nine years old. He said, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> he said, I was just kind of bothered. <laughs> he said, I just needed to get out. <laughs> And so as he was standing in line, I said, well, okay. He said, well, you know, it's just one of those, 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 those days, River Man. something special in my life if you think if you know that God is getting ready to bless you won't you stand on your feet say yeah yeah stand on your feet claim your blessing today don't you leave this church without thanking God for bringing you through Hey, hey, it's something about being in the church. It's something about being around the altar that makes me excited. And I want you to know that God is glad that you're in the church. Ah, you're here today. 
Only by his grace. A lot of people can't say that. Uh, a lot of people can't say that. The other day I was reading where this famous DJ took his life. Man, he seemed like he had it going on. He took his own life. You need to rededicate your life to God. You need to get things right with God. I don't know what this week may hold. I don't know what next week may hold. But I know right now, we have this moment right now in time to give your life to Christ. I mean fully give your life to Christ. I'm talking about really lay your life out to Christ. Stop trying to do it on your own. You trying to do it on your own has equal nothing but crying and heartaches. And you have a savior that is standing there saying, I'm here waiting on you. You have a savior to say and you can cry on me. Just come on, come on. And I, I can't tell you that. All fresh on us right now Lord help us help us Heavenly Father to to deal with the thing that we cannot control Lord lead and guide us right now walk with them each and every step that they make Lord each and every person that kneel at your altar Heavenly Father they don't have to say their request out loud because they already said it in their heart. So Lord, I pray for each and every person right now that's kneeling at your altar. Touch them right now, Heavenly Father. Touch them in a special way, Lord Jesus. Move on that situation right now, Lord. Bring, bring that miracle that we know that you have in store for them. And let this be said, Heavenly Father, that this was the
Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have our prayer list before us. We thank God for Miss Crema being here today. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. Please keep Brother James Moore in your prayer. He is um, in Florida. come up and make an announcement as well but let me say thank you to all the young people that turned out yesterday amen for our, our uh, first family lunch and it was great they played some Christmas game they even played something called Black Jeopardy amen they had a blast amen singing Christmas carol and all, I mean they, they really had a good time but no Sunday school next Sunday and the following Sunday January 1st we will not have Sunday school we want you to enjoy your family. On December 25th, breakfast here at 9.30. All are invited to come out and share with us. Um, worship will start at 11. And then on December 25th, they asked everyone to wear their tacky sweaters, Christmas sweaters or ugly sweater, whatever you want to wear a sweater. And then we're still asking for donation for youth and Fifty-five. Amen. 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 Let the church say Amen. We are so we are so excited to announce that we did we were awarded a grant through the Oham Foundation to complete our roofing project. Our roof has been completed. The other thing that we are going to do is paint the church, uh, paint outside the church, repair some um, wood on the window sill. And we're going to install new gutters here at the church. And so we have been awarded $15,000 to do that. Amen. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. We're so excited. And all of it is debt free. It's debt free. <laughs> no loan. <laughs> debt free. <laughs> Y'all ain't celebrating with me. Amen. <laughs> we, God is good. Amen. God is awesome when you're doing the right thing. Amen. It took a little elbow grease. I'm not going to tell y'all no story. It took a little elbow grease, but he came through for us. And so we we're able to make those um, renovations here at the church. And it's not going to cost the members anything other than your praise. And your prayers. Amen. Amen. That's it. Keep praying for this church. Amen. God has more in store for us in 2023. I'm just telling y'all, we're on our way. Good to see Miss Martha Davis here. Amen. I like that hat, lady. <laughs> 